The first overseas trip for the Prince and Princess of Wales since the death of Queen Elizabeth II is being overshadowed by a royal resignation and concerns of racism at Buckingham Palace. CTV's chief international correspondent Paul Workman has more. Yes, a Buckingham Palace reception hosted by the Queen Consort on a very significant topic, violence against women and girls. Except one of the guests, Ngozi Fulani, seen here not far from Queen Camilla, left the event deeply troubled after a conversation with a royal lady-in-waiting. The conversation posted on Twitter went something like this. But what nationality are you? I'm born here and am British. No, but where do you really come from? Where do your people come from? My people? Lady, what is this? Lady Susan Hussey served Queen Elizabeth for more than 60 years. That's her in the car on the day of Prince Philip's funeral last year. She offered profound apologies, said Buckingham Palace, and is no longer in royal service. She demanded to know where I was from. No, really, where I was from. No, where I was really from. And no matter how many times I answered her, it wasn't the response she wanted. Andrew Reid witnessed the conversation and said it was very uncomfortable for any black person. I'm tired of all this talk about the Commonwealth and um, all of that because it rings hollow when people like us who are invited to an event are effectively treated as outsiders. It tells you that there's an institutional racism problem. All very awkward for the Prince and Princess of Wales as they began a royal visit to the US. Lady Hussey is William's godmother. <laughs> Through a spokesman, he said it was right that she should step aside adding that racism has no place in our society. By coincidence, William's brother, Prince Harry, and his wife, Meghan, will receive a prestigious Human Rights Award next week for standing up to institutional racism in the monarchy, Omar. The Ukrainian president also getting that same award on Tuesday. Paul Workman in London tonight. Paul, thank you.